as a colorist who works at a big post studio, how much creativity do you actually have, or how is it limited to what the producers want, or you know, what 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 are you allowed to do or not do? You know, it it all depends on the project uh, and the clients that you work for. If it's if it's clients you know, and it's say it's a, a television commercial. You know, yes, you have agency there. There's certain things you have to do, but you have a little bit more freedom at times. Uh, versus, say, a television drama that you would watch, uh, you would know every time they go into the house or they go into their bedroom or something, it looks the same. And so those, no, it is. It's pretty cut and dry. They have certain looks on the scenes, uh, and you just apply that. Mm -hmm. It's not quite that easy, but you know that, that works. <laughs> So that I right click copy, yeah, nothing like that. Right? I know, no, no, and because you know they change the lighting for the close ups versus the wide shots and things, and everything has to match. I mean, really, my goal, the f the first thing a colorist does is make sure that every shot is seamless and goes into the next shot and looks like the same location, and that's really the the first step. You right. know, if you watch a television show or commercial, yeah, it might have a look, but that's about it. You know, you don't want it to stand out. It, it has to kind of fit in, and that's that really is the trick of how far you can push certain footage, um, but still make it look like it fits within the movie or that television drama or in that, you know, commercial. I mean, it's, right. you know, and, and there's, oh, not that there's rules, but there's things you have to do. I mean, obviously, if it's a commercial that's supposed to be happy and you know it needs to be nice and warm and golden tones and things like that. If it's uh, a horror thing you're working on, then you can go dark and blue, um, and it's it's just knowing that there's that there's that artistic creative side that you kind of have to follow at the same time. Let's get the conversation going, guys. If you have any comments or any sort of questions whatsoever, feel free to leave them down in the description as well uh, or in the comment section, and we'll get back to you guys. We'd like to have maybe a follow up with Paul later on.